Developing news, a hearing for a suspect accused of murdering the husband of a former College of Charleston provost has ended, but it will continue tomorrow. News 2's Forrest Tucker was in the courtroom as the judge determines if the suspect should be tried as an adult or a minor. The defense and prosecution are bringing forward arguments on how the suspect could be tried, and that could impact potential punishments as well. Travis Wilson is being tried in connection with the deadly shooting of Thomas DiLorenzo in July of 2020. DiLorenzo was shot and killed while he was walking with his wife, Suzanne Austin, on King Street. Austin had just become the provost of the College of Charleston at the time. Three arrests were made in the shooting. The suspects were all minors at the time. Since then, one of the suspects, Wilson, has turned 18. The decision the judge is weighing today is whether to try him in family court if he's ruled to stand trial as a minor or general sessions court if he's ruled an adult. I've been waiting for the probable cause portion of the hearing to start, which will weigh on the decision. The judge has to investigate the matter before making the decision on how to try Wilson. This is a key step in the justice system to protect the rights of juveniles. There have been other portions of the hearing that we are not allowed to witness today. Wilson is charged with murder, armed robbery with a deadly weapon, and third-degree assault and battery. He's been held for nearly two years, awaiting trial and adjudication. This is a developing story. We'll have the latest for you on air and online. That's on CountOn2.com. Reporting in downtown Charleston, I'm Forrest Tucker. CountOn2.